getting ourselves together. Say hey. Hey, everyone. Yep. Suffer it, because I am here. <laughs> so funny. All right, so what we're doing today is a, what we call a reconstructive relaxer on my client here, Miss Jerry. Hi. Um, she's also salt and pepper, if you guys can tell. So we're going to do two things. We're going to do her retouch. Right? And then she's going to do her trim as well. I'll take um, 15. Uh, you want naked or butter? Naked. Naked? Fry hard? What kind of sauce would you like? Buffalo, please. And can I get buffalo sauce? Hot or mild? Hot. Hot. Um, no, that's it. And can I get delivery? Yeah, you cause that hairline to even get close to my ear. You see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You see that hairline? I see. Okay. That's you. That's your product. <laughs> it grew that much? Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. So you guys never really get to see me doing a relaxer service, but with Miss Jerry, who's salt and pepper, you're going to notice that she might have a tinge of like a brownish brassiness on her hair. So we're going to eliminate that today, too. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hey. If you have your phone and you want to moderate from there, you can. I could have come up in here. I'm going to slide a phone through your head. Okay. But I'd like to talk to you. So Ms. Jerry's going to moderate. If you guys have any questions, I'll answer them at the same time. I love the atmosphere because I'm a loner, so I'm so used to be by myself. <laughs> Yes. I went to school and everything. I'm just so I did the same thing you did. What? I was an assistant for like two years though. I just wasn't ready. I, I just didn't want to. I don't know. I, I had my full time job and I was okay. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was an assistant for years. Yeah. I like being Alina's assistant. Like it's, she's my cousin, but I learned so much from her. And I was gonna say you probably learned a lot too. I learned so much from her. She's really, she's a very gifted stylist. Yes, I love her. Very. How do you remove the yellow from the gray? How do you remove the yellow from the gray? So they have different toning shampoos that you can use. There's so many different companies. Um, my go-to typically is Provana. But you can use this, Fanola. Every company, every color company makes a, a violet toning shampoo.
And that color, that yellowing or brassiness, that can come from anything. It can be environmental, it can be product based, it can be just adding heat to the hair. It just happens. So with your salt and pepper, you want to definitely make sure that a toning shampoo, a violet based toning shampoo is your best friend after every wash. My phone doesn't like this area. Oh, that sucks. There it goes. This raggedy T Mobile for you. Is there, do the client, are the clients able to use the Wi-Fi? Yeah. Yes. Should, should, um, Let me know when you're ready, I'll give you a okay. password. Uh, um, so go to your Wi-Fi. Okay, we're ready. Okay, so it should, H, it should say H style? Yes. Yes. Oh, not the one that says yes. You can do yes, either okay. one. Okay. Um, and the, the password is studio with a capital S, 1421. Studio 1421. What kind of relax? Oh, she. You know, you don't tell the relax. Yeah. So I'm okay with showing you guys the process, but I don't actually talk about the product itself. Tracy said, "Hey, love your work." Thank you. I love what you do to the hair. You make it look beautiful. God bless you. Thank you. It's just there's certain things even as a stylist that you just don't give and I don't do chemical talk. So right now what we're doing is the application. And then the last thing that we're gonna do before she gets to the dry point is the toning shampoo, which you guys will get to see that part. Dollars for before my appointment. I was ready to make. I said no. Someone's come. My um, she knows about you. We use your products on that at her salon. So she's coming up from Florida, and I'm going to her. I'll be back to you next month. Oh nice. She's been doing my life. She does it good. She's been doing a good job. Well, that's good. That's all that matters. Oh, and she's white too. So really. Mm -hmm. Wow. That whole other section down my back, it thinned out so bad. Mm -hmm. 
Really? Yeah. Cause when I first started with you, I was um, natural. Mm -hmm. I, I was relaxed, but I was transitioning. I remember you said that, and then you was like, I'm done. And it was because it came out with clumps. And I thought it was from the relaxer, but then I started losing hair everywhere else, too. Really? Yeah. Okay, I was like to the shave the wax nowhere, okay? And I'm just leaving it at that. Yep. I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard the door. That's why I was like, is that the door? <laughs> That works. If you guys are watching live, please don't forget to go and hit that thumbs up button. I like my set and pepper and it must like to keep my colors pretty. Violet toning shampoo. I'm not sure that my silver head does not look like that. I'm so glad that you don't mind traveling to help us all the beautiful I also can't wait until you return to the Northeast. Well, I'm praying that you did. Yeah, she's not about to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidnapping her. I'll be right back here at 5 o'clock. Trust. There won't be no three. It'll be fine. Sharita keeps saying Sharita loves you more. Mm -hmm. Sharita loves you more. Thank you, Sharita. This girl, when is she? Oh, coming to Bahama? Coming to where? Bahama. Ghana? Bahama. Oh, Alabama. Oh, okay. Alabama is not one of my current destinations. Sorry. Where are you located? She'd love to have um, this year. Love to have her hair done by you. I'm in Florida. How often do or dare? How often? Or daily do you do relaxers? Uh, it just depends on the client. I don't really have a schedule for when I do relaxers. 
Thank you, Lisa. At this point, I kind of do, I maybe do about 75% natural, 25% relaxed, because it's popular to be natural right now, but. Yes, yeah, when I started, you were with you, you started, you were basically doing relaxers, and then all of a sudden you switched over share. to natural. It's all what's the trend right now, I guess. I What's my preference? I'd rather relax here. Mm -hmm. Why? Hmm? Look, like I'm gonna be like, I just rather, I, I feel like you take care of your hair more when it's relaxed mm -hmm. than natural. Because guess what? Like with natural, you can play around a lot. With relaxed, you know, it's one direction. It's, I need to make sure I get my relaxers on time. I need to make sure I get my trim on time. Right. With natural hair, people play around with it a lot. And then I feel like I see more damaged natural hair than I do relaxed hair. I completely understand that. Because I feel like it's like, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people that go natural for the wrong reason. Yeah. They don't go natural because it's just, you know, a choice that they made. It's, oh, a celebrity went natural or something, something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. And then when the celebrity comes, pops out with a whole relaxer, you left all by yourself. Pamela says, I have the Elite Moisture 123 products and no. Moist Me Deep Conditioning Mask. At what point do I use the conditioning mask under the dryer? So when you're doing your wash day, you switch out the Moisture ELT. I'm assuming that's what you're using. You switch out the Moisture ELT conditioner for the Moist Me. So you can do that. I typically say no more than once a month. And, when and then you go back and forth with the others. Hmm? And when do you use the violet toning shampoo? The toning shampoo? Yeah. So that's going to be your last shampoo. The toning shampoo is your final shampoo. They also have toning conditioners. So it's, it's always the last step of the process. Because if you do a toning shampoo and then you go back and do your clarifying shampoo, you just basically just strip the toning shampoo right out. So that's always your last step. That's every week, every time you wash? It just depends on if needed. Not everybody is going to need it automatically. You just have to kind of watch the hair. You can know. You'll know because you'll see that yellowy mm. grassiness. relaxing for medical reasons and my hair keeps falling out. me how I walk well, off without it. Sometimes. All right, my dear. So I'm going to have you come back for me. Slide down.
So if you're doing a relaxer first, typically you're going to relax, neutralize all of that first, and then you're cold. You gotta actually request it, right? Yeah, because sometimes they, they really just don't do it. No, they'll come with just the vodka. Like, exactly. but, but nowadays, they, even they, utensils, they, just the fork and knife, and you order spaghetti, and they still don't even bring the fork and knife. They'll ask you. That was like a standard yeah. thing. The world has gotten so Magic fingers that feels good. <laughs>
I think that was the door because I saw her, a lady walking up. Everybody's talking about this looks relaxing. <laughs> it is. Trust me. I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So we're gonna tone her grays. So how you do it is you have a violet based shampoo. Okay. This one is from Squirt's Call. Okay. Apply it to the hair. And when you put it on, you'll let it sit for, mm, if you're using something like shimmering lights or something of that nature, like, Shimmer lights, you gotta be careful. I do not like shimmer lights. But for companies like Short Scar, Pravana, which they're all from the same family, which is called Hinkle, typically anywhere from a minute to five, sometimes longer, but you kinda have to just watch the hair. So whenever you put your shampoo on, you let it sit for a minute or so. But shimmering lights for certain, because I know you guys have more access to shimmering lights than any other brand. Very careful with shimmering lights. So as you guys can tell, like on her hair, if you look right here, you can see the color of the shampoo. So we're gonna let that sit on our hair for a minute or two. Thank you. 
oh yes, subject, you can use that to check in, or they should come and give you a ticket, whatever it's down. And then they'll tell you where to take your bag, it's down at the end. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse her off. Okay. It doesn't take long. So we're gonna we're rinse her off here. now. So she's all toned. So I'll bring you guys closer so you can see. So it should have a violet slash bluish purplish kind of hue. sit for a minute. As the days go by, definitely. Good. All right, so we're gonna just go through and give her a quick detangle. And we're gonna rinse her with two water.
Can we just come to Arizona? <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to comb her down. It feels like it got longer. It's long to me. It's very nice way. Like, right, come with me. All right, you guys, so she's under the dryer. You can come on back, mama. All right, so we're gonna start with my next client. So you guys are just gonna continue on with me. Let me get my charger. I agree. I wasn't sure if today was going to happen because I know there was like some scheduling <laughs> conflict. And then I got the email. It said, Do you want to do the I get that from every person that has booked a, a tour of me. <laughs> that was funny. And last weekend was my dad's birthday weekend, so that was all good. So I'm like, stand up for me for one second. Yeah, but I'm the one that comments on your channel to say, mommy first. Thank so because my twins, when they listen, they will say, oh, she sounds like you. <laughs> no matter what you're doing, hey, go and sit down. Don't do this. Take out the trash. <laughs> That's me. It's nice to see you actually in person. Put the here. Okay. So we get in the first Yeah. I should just have my hair... What, so you might not even be so crazy. Oh, guess what's on my hair? What? You're leaving and you're Chris. Oh, nice. Oh, I have like your whole line, lady. Thank you. <laughs> but I don't know how to use it all. Well, today I'm going to use Show me. <laughs> um, probably the moisture EOT on you today. Okay, I have that. Say hi. <laughs> I'm back from So we're going to shampoo her. She's getting a silk press. She just got a trim. So today for her here, we're going to use the Moisture EOT. Make it nice and shiny. And she already has product on her hair right now, which is the Frizz Tamer. And this leave-in conditioner. My favorite, the Stretch one. The minty one. Okay. Which is the um, Hydration and Strength Therapy. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to... Rinse her down first, which is very important. When I tell you guys about wash day, I always say, of course, saturation is number one. 
I can actually smell the powder. <laughs> you can't smell it? I can smell it too. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I just cut half of my hair off. Long story. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off, of course, by plunging our hair and scalp using the Elite Clarify. So this used to be called Elite Detox, which is the Herbal Detox, and now it's called Elite Clarify. And it'll be available as of this coming August. So it's nice and minty, but it's the main ingredient or the main focus is the organic activated charcoal and also the peppermint. So it'll give you a nice stimulation of the scalp too. Let me know if I'm scratching too hard. Okay? Mm -mm, feels good. I have a mommy so I should like scrubbing clothes. <laughs> Alright, come on back for me. Mm -hmm. So I shampoo to the side, right? So doing it from the back is like foreign language to me right now. <laughs> I know it's just once I see it set like this, I, it's like I force myself to do it. Oh yeah. I, I got it because all the new bowls, you gotta get acclimated to do yeah. it this way. I love, I love those bowls because they're higher. You know how yeah, you most you have to bend your back. Yeah. yeah. But you know the only the only country that makes them high like this is the Italian countries. Really? All of the only Italian bowls are high like that. Oh, wow. The ones that they make for like just made here, those are the ones where we're like this, and we come up with humpback right. by the time the day is done. <laughs> yeah. I love these bowls. Though. I love the chairs. They're so pretty. I was trying to get a bowl for him because both of the twins they still have all their hair. Ah, right. And they, it's, it's my other son. He He's shopping for the restaurant. So they, they were like, can we wait outside? I'm like, if you want. I said, but you're not allowed to come in. So anyway, he went shopping. He you have an open in a restaurant? Oh yeah, we have one downtown. We have one coming to Narcotown. Oh, what kind of restaurant is it? Kind of sister. Listen. <laughs> so you have a second one opening? Yeah, it's, it's what's, coming. What's the name of it? Culture. All right, so my client here has a restaurant by the name of Culture. Where is it? It's going to be Norristown on uh, Main Street, so it's up and coming to stay tuned. Norristown on Main Street, but you have another location, right? Yeah, Reggae Reggae Vibes. And Nord then Reggae Reggae, that one's open? Yeah, Northern Liberties. Say, did you say where? Northern Liberties. Yep. Northern Liberties. Okay. Reggae Reggae Vibes. Reggae Reggae Vibes, all right. Don't be scared, you guys speak up about this restaurant, girl. <laughs> We do Caribbean food. Caribbean food. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, so I just put the Moisture ELT on our hair. I'm going to pre-detangle, which is the great thing about the Moisture ELT. This is not a step that's really required. I like to pre-detangle with it, especially when I'm doing my kids' hair, because <laughs> that's like an ultimate defeat if I don't. Most of the time with shampoo, you can't really detangle, but with ours, you can. Mm, feels good. Smells good? Yeah, it feels and smells good. Like my son, he used that um, charcoal one the first time. He likes it? How old is he? They just turned 15. So the fact that a 15 year old likes the minty kind of shampoo tells me I'm in the right direction. <laughs> Most children and teens do not like that feeling. Yeah, I wish you could have met him because he would tell you all about your line, all that he loves. Really? Yeah. This hair was awesome. done. And he's a guy? Yeah. Wow. Most dudes are like, hmm, it feels good. Okay, and well, we're done. Uh, I know my guy using the line, the whole family use your line. That is awesome. Hey, Richmond, California. <laughs> I 
Let's sign up for your boot camp now. I'm excited. <laughs> the boot camp is going to be good. I'm yeah, excited. it's going to be good. I'm really excited. All right, so we're going to add the Moisture EOT Conditioner. A little goes a long way, and then you want to start on the ends and work your way up. So is this a routine I should follow mm -hmm. using this one? Yep. Okay. I have the steamer. I have... <laughs> so, it, okay, so in this case, if you were going to do a hydration treatment, then you go ahead and kind of finger detangle or you can detangle it fully mm -hmm. and then you go under the steamer at this point. Okay. So you guys can see how easy, easily detangle. Set up for me just a little bit. And then of course if you're if you are dealing with your child or maybe you're dealing with a client, then of course every density is gonna be different and you just take your time and detangle. With her case, her hair is easy to detangle, which is <laughs> it just looks crazy, right? It just looks that yeah. way, that's all. <laughs> There's many a bad hair day at school. Oh. All you good hairdressers, they don't know what to do with your texture. So. Yeah, that, that comes with it. Yeah. But from the day I used your products, I said, like, ooh, this is it. <laughs> You know my mom couldn't do my hair when I was small. I do. I tell her about it every day. I'm like, it's so easy. It is. Oh, she couldn't do it. So I'm just letting it sit for like a minute or two just to kind of soften her hair. Her hair is really soft already, but it won't hurt just for a little extra oomph of condition. But I need those cooking, so whenever you cook, it's like, oh, that looks good. So we're going to turn the water to clean. Will she be going under the dryer? Not with the conditioner. The great thing about the moisture ERT, it's extremely hydrating, you guys. Extremely. Now, if you're low porosity and your hair is extremely dry, then yes, you can put a processing cap on and go under the dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can do the hydration steamer. Same thing, but without a processing cap. Uh, Miss Jerry. Is it dry? She's good. No. Okay. Okay. I like those dryers, by the way. Listen, just tell her to just take, give me the whole salon. I'm just gonna take it back with me, okay? Yeah. Just, just give me the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Chairs and all. Just a little bit on the end. It's fine. It's fine. How was your flight? You came in yesterday. Today. Oh wow. An hour ago. You're like me. I got in at like 10.30. Oh, okay. So make sure you guys rinse out the conditioner really well. That's very important. You don't want to leave any conditioner behind. It does nothing but cause buildup on the hair and make the hair feel even drier. All right, so we're gonna go ahead For me. Okay, you're gonna towel dry at this point. This is another step that everybody skips. The first thing you wanna do is leave your hair soft and wet and then go and spray leave-in conditioner on there. And all you're doing is just basically wasting the leave-in conditioner. So you wanna towel dry the hair first so that the leave-in conditioner will adhere, which is the most important part. Do you recommend towel versus t-shirt dry? Towel and t-shirt, they're all cotton. They ain't that big of deal. <laughs> okay. People kind of go, they go a little crazy. Honestly, it's the same thing. As long as it's cotton, there's some towels that are more like, like that polyester spongy fabric. 
It's just a towel. Just dry clean. All right, so we just sprayed on our leave-in conditioner. I'm going to part her hair into small sections so she can go under the dryer and air dry for a little. You guys know I do not like to blow dry stopping wet hair. I'm big on that. Okay, so all I'm doing is just rope twisting her into small sections. I'm detangling as I go. Yeah, next month they're supposed to come down your way, sir. She was even, even if you didn't do this, I was like, oh, I should just book an appointment. <laughs> and then you came here first, so. So I was in Miami and had my hair done then. So oh, yeah? Like, yeah, I travel for work, you know, not with the pandemic. Yeah. It's a bit limited. So, so how do you keep up with the restaurant and that? Yeah. Well, my guy helps, but my dad and I run the one downtown. So that's good. This one is going to keep us really busy. Okay. Um, so eventually because, you're going to leave your job? No, I just got a new one. So I actually work and um, I'm the one that brings the naughty drugs to market. Oh. So, I love what I do. <laughs> you bring <laughs> the drugs to market. Like the FDA? Yes, I actually like work pharmaceutical, the, on the pharmaceutical side. That's what I work in. Got you. So I start the studies up and then... I have a client, one of my clients, she, um, she manages research facilities. Okay, nice. Where they're doing the trials. Mm -hmm. that, well, they're one of the companies that are the pharmaceutical company and they're doing trials in different parts of the world. So I'm the one that has oversight of her. To make sure okay, so you're over does. on top of her yes, part. Yeah. Got you. And I, and I select the. Is a plan? I select the product, the patient, the site, and then manage them. But pretty busy. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are gonna go over to the dryer. If you just wanna sit next to Miss Jerry, I'll be with you in just right. a second. Let me just clean it. Hmm? It doesn't matter. You can work. Whatever one makes you comfortable. Yeah. I'm gonna bring you guys with me, and we're gonna go over to my station and finish up Miss Jerry. Yeah, me neither. I had just was transitioning and was looking how to take care of it when I, sp I spied her. This, so I posted that for their oh birthday. Oh my gosh, they're <laughs> cute. <laughs> they're older than that now. They're so cute though. <laughs>
said they love your color. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish off her bow there. So she's about 50 to 70 percent dry. So all we're gonna do is just fill it up. Grasshopper says she's happy you made it. Uh and shine serum and then of course my fame which is my go-to Sebastian shaper just to help seal her in I'm gonna trim her first so she's straight at this point and this is gonna serve as her heat protectant also a glossifier and it's nice and lightweight and a little goes a long way I always tell you guys that too. a little goes a very long way Feels like I have a head of hair again. <laughs> okay. So we're just doing a trim. kind of clean up wherever I see. trim vest? Well, if I'm doing a haircut, then I'll use the cutting vest. But if I'm doing a trim, I don't need the cutting vest. You guys see how nice it's shiny?
Mm-hmm. That shampoo brought out more of the gray. Yeah, it makes it more lustrous. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give her some loose curls. I'm using the Babyless Prima 3100. This actually, this one is the first Babyless Prima that it came out with. I've had this iron for about four years. They have better ones now, but I've been using this one for a long time. Your hair? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somewhat. It's called Silver Streets. I can't wait for it to go all gray. I'll be happy to have it all the way. I mean, salt and pepper is really nice too. Not everybody will go 100% silver. If you're the way it's coming in, you're going to be salt and pepper. Honey. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And that's later on down the road, it takes another turn. Well, this is growing in the top. I think it is extremely important. So how often do you put heat in? Maybe once a month. That's good. Maybe. What do you normally do for? Um, the magnetic roller. Okay. And then um, that night, I'll um, take and squish them up back into a pin curl. Then when I get tired of it, I, before it starts getting a little, looking like a little fizzy at the ends and stuff, then I'll just take and wrap it. And I still have like, um, the ends still be like flippy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys want to see. hear myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And if you're doing curls, guys, if you... It's kind of hard to teach, but... Rule of thumb, you want to move slower down the shaft. And that'll give you a better curl. The faster you go, the looser that curl will be. This, I can't curl using that then. I curl better with a flat iron than I do a curling iron. Now the curling one, I'll take it down to the ends and then curl back up to the root because I can't do that that hair going around. I, that's why I mostly stick to my high roller. Do you curl better with a flat iron or a curling iron? Iron. You feel like you move faster, right? Yes. Thank you. All right. So with the with the stove irons, I just it's more work. It is, and it gives you carpal tunnel much faster too. Yes, because your hand, especially when you have to do. And it, yes. <laughs> I couldn't. I was so glad when flat irons came out, like in Cosmo school. That was the worst. See, I was just getting ready to say that's what y'all learned on, right? Yeah, we, we learn on ourselves. Some well, when schools. I school, we did not learn on You didn't? When I went or to we school? Had the, we had the ones you had to plug in. We had those two, and then we had a teacher that she brought them ourselves. And she let us practice with them because she knew that she's like, listen, if all else fails, you always have your Marcells. And I, was just, I used to hate it, but it was true. It was very true. When I my flat them. irons burnt out, or if I had a client with extremely short hair, I had no choice. Yes. But now they have the pencil iron, so I don't even, you, you won't oh, yeah. catch me with a Marcel on my face. Girl. See, we grew up with the appliances on the stove with the, bur with the gas burner, okay? Uh -uh. And then we went to the uh, plastic rollers. No, life has changed completely. Yeah, we see. Uh -huh. When they came out with the pencil iron, I was, a, I was smooth sailing then. You couldn't catch me doing a Marcel. <laughs> we weren't taught to use these. We weren't taught to use that heat. From the stove <laughs> and run I to the like, bathroom here. I like here. to work smarter. I don't have the patience. <laughs> yeah, because it actually, from start to finish, to getting the last curl rolled up on the roller, By it takes time me I'm three done hours. I'm curling with a Marcel. My wrist is on fire. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> By time you're done, <laughs> your wrist is on fire. <laughs> you already looking like how many clients I got left? Yeah, like. Your hair looks beautiful. What's your Thank you. And I already, I had carpal tunnel from when I had my first child. So it's like to use the Marcel now, I'm like, oh no. The only thing that I really use my stove for now is the hot comb. Because the ones that you plug in, they're not hot enough. Does the flat iron change the color of gray hair? It can. The flat iron can, the Marcel can, the blow dryer can, anything can. And if the flat iron is too hot, or if it has like product buildup on it, it can also change the color. Typically, ceramic irons have more buildup on them than titanium irons, but if you have buildup on your flat iron, you can use like relaxer. I mean, relaxer is probably the best one. Or ceramic stove cleaner, you can use that too. I love gray hair on someone else. I don't think it looks good on me. <laughs> Thank you, Rochelle. Oh my gosh, I can't hear my... Okay, so I do a lot of lies, right? But I hate hearing myself. I 
in three weeks I'd do the protein, right? Two to three weeks. Listen, I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years. I feel like I tell my And I think I've watched maybe an hour of all of my videos in 10 years. Don't you have a nice voice? It projects it's not that, it's it like projects when well. When, when you do it, you don't want to go back and watch it. Okay. That's the last thing you want to do is watch yourself. You start looking like, man, that camera made me look 20 pounds heavy. <laughs> Final piece. So you can leave it like this. You can leave her hair like this, or if you want to give it more like a loose wave. Do you want to leave it really curly or you want it more like a loose wave? You handling this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap her really quickly. Uh-oh. I have a flat head back there. Don't show yourself that. I'm not taking out the curl, I'm just kind of relaxing the curls a little bit. We're gonna take our wide tooth comb here. Hello. How are you? Vivian. Hey, Vivian. Hi, Vivian. Beautiful this hair is. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, so for Miss Vivian, Miss Vivian, now you got me saying Vivian instead of Miss Jerry. All right, so for Miss Jerry, I'm going to use a little bit of edge control. I'm going to use the charcoal one, and I'll show you guys in just a moment. So I'm going to use that much. She's relaxed, so I don't have to worry about her hair reverting over time. Okay, so all we're going to do, I'm going to bring you guys close. I'm literally putting it at the base. And it just gives her just a little oomph. And then as the day goes by, it'll just dissipate. She's on delay. I see my phone. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of holding spray just to kind of keep her curls when she gets home. It's not a heavy hold, so she'll be able to wrap her hair like she normally would. That's the seven that law here, honey. Church ready. <laughs> and now get ready. I, I, listen, <laughs> two hours to go to Merlin, I could do that. Pastor ain't going to start preaching the floor, but that's what Well, there you go. Do. I can show this off tomorrow, too. All right, you guys, she is all done. Yeah. Turn you around so they can see ya. See y'all on the next live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I just can't. Never mind. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, Miss Jerry's all done. I'm going to. Probably start my next client. Let me see how long I've been on here. Hour and a half? I think we'll be okay. I don't think we'll be okay. All right, Miss Sherry, let me get you situated. Okay, Miss. Where's my phone? Let me grab my phone. Did I leave my phone Um, either or is fine. My phone died. I probably could cash because my phone just died. Now I gotta wait for it to come back. Thank you. Isn't this shop beautiful? So the owner of the salon is Halima, which is also known as H Styles on Instagram. I did eyeball in her shop for forever, so you know. <laughs> you know I'm finally here. <laughs>
Um, all together, I think it was oh, two right. something. Two twelve. Two twelve. Book in LA. <laughs> <laughs> no, even Bright did book me LA. Oh. Turn my phone in and on. I'll get you done, okay? Because I can't see it. I got to see it on my phone. You said your hair is so beautiful. No, that's not it. I have washing up. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, my. <laughs> you said my chair. Okay. <laughs> I was like, let me detangle when I was Before watching you. Oh, yeah. He started her. Like, Boy, let me detangle my hair. Long breath for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was hurting myself. I was like, oh, you're yeah. actually going to go to that shampoo bowl right next to the wall, okay? Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm just doing my hair. When you see this turns on, let me know, okay? Okay. All right, we're going to go to the shampoo bowl. Come with me, people. I'm trying to eat this morning. And you were getting ready to go to the Huh? Oh, I'm gonna talk real bad about her hair, y'all. <laughs> she emailed me, talking, don't tell me. You can you can video me, but don't talk about my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> she used unky funky. Oh, All right, sit up for me. So we're gonna do a soap press on Miss Vivian. You guys know her as Vivian Rayford on YouTube. So she has a little bit of gel in her hair right now. So we're going to rinse out some of the gel first, clarify her really well, shampoo her. Very cute. So before you start, you guys, as I always say, make sure you rinse out any product that's in the hair or attempt to rinse out as much of the product as you can. So you guys basically get the Philly experience on live today. Instead of me cutting the live and doing multiple lives, I'll just use one. Or if this live, I'll probably cut this live off at 100 minutes and then start another one. Okay, so first 
things first. We're going to clarify her using Elite Clarify. Okay, very important. And then she's tender-headed, so y'all just, you know, we just gonna act like she's not tender-headed. It's just gonna work. If she's squirming, we just keep going like a child. <laughs> it's okay, baby. <laughs> Four minutes. It's be okay. Almost done. Almost done. No, but I'm going to use the moisture ELT on her, so it's going to be a lot easier. Through each shampoo, you want to make sure you rinse out everything. Don't leave any shampoo behind. Especially on the final shampoo. Right, so we're I washed my hair in eight months, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. Somebody else washed my hair. So we're gonna try a thing and we're gonna see if she manages through it, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna detangle her ends first. So I'm gonna treat her as if I would treat Christian, okay? <laughs> So we always have that little pep talk. No noodle head. It's very important you have these pep talks before you start, but she's doing really well. So we, I think we're we okay. So I'm just, I just detangled her ends, that's all. And then especially for those who are a little more tender than others, try to keep the hair in one direction so that it doesn't tangle up more than normal. Did it turn on, Ms. Sarah? No, but I do have an email here.
leave out the excess water. Put some moisture ELT conditioner. Okay, so I'm gonna use that much conditioner. Start it on the ends, work my way up. Okay, we're going to let that sit on our hair for just a moment. Did you take it? Yeah. Let me plug in this phone back here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this phone dies. Let me plug it in. There we go. So she's sitting with some conditioner on her hair just for a couple minutes. Let me get some pictures. Let's see what she doing over Make it to church. <laughs> yeah, I'll make, I'll make it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dun, dun, detangle her, but I think she'll be just fine. So I left the moisture ELT conditioner on her hair. How you doing? You good? You making it? <laughs> she holding her breath. <laughs> Right, and then we're gonna do this side here. When's the last time you had a trip? Uh, about eight months ago. Eight months? Yeah. All right, so we're definitely gonna be giving her a trim today. All right, come on back for me. So the water is gonna be clean. Okay. See you, Miss Sherry. Water. We're not going to manipulate the hair too much.
Did I get my room? Yep, yeah, actually they just messaged me and said that it's ready. So yeah, my room is ready. Did the hubby make it in? Hmm? Did the hubby make it in? Not yet. He his flight leaves at three. Oh. So okay. he's at the airport now. He's there now. He said he was already checking in. Okay. Probably eating something. All right, so we're gonna wear some leave-in conditioner. And then of course, you still wanna make sure that you're detangling as you go. So I'm just going to do her into three sections. She's still holding her breath, but we're doing real good. <laughs> Every time I can see her eyes go like this, they get real tight. <laughs> That's not bad. That's no? Not bad. no? If it was Christian, you're ripping out my scalp. <laughs> he does. <laughs> She's ripping the hair from my head. So last section. I think I'm more rougher than this. It's not bad. Nah. All right, you guys. So she is gonna go under the dryer. I'm gonna literally inhale my food. And then we'll come back on live in the next couple minutes for you guys to see the finish of my next round of clients. So I'm gonna keep this in the okay, okay. All right, you guys. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for the next round of videos.